Elton John is known for his generosity. Well, he's closely related to the royals, as the fact that the singer knows Harry from his mother's time, as he was a great friend to Princess Diana. However, the rumors claim that secretly Elton was recording Meg and Harry's fight. But why would he do that? Is it for real? For more information, keep watching our channel. Prince Harry has been very open about his relationship with Sir Elton John, who was a trusted confidant of the late Duchess of Sussex's mom, Princess Diana. Released on Tuesday, Prince Harry's memoir Spare includes thoughtful consideration of the many ways in which Sir Elton has supported him throughout the years. When the music legend sang a reworked version of Candle in the Wind at Princess Diana's burial, they met for the first time in a significant way. A number of readings and eulogies were given at the funeral, and Elton John was the last one, Harry wrote. He got to his feet slowly and stiffly, like one of the great kings who had lain in state for years under the abbey, and had been jolted back to life. He strode up to the stage and took a seat at the grand piano. Is it a secret that he also performed a reworked version of Candle in the Wind for Mummy? I'm not sure if the mental snippets I have are from the actual event or from videos I've watched later. It's possible they're the after effects of reoccurring nightmares. He went on saying, I do have one pure, unquestionable memory of the music reaching its climax and my eyes starting to sting and tears nearly dropping. Nearly. Ten years later at the commemorative concert for Princess Diana, Prince Harry recalled how he asked Sir Elton John to sing Candle in the Wind once more. Instead, the Oscar winner Choose Your Song, which he sang with a glint and a smile, a glow with wonderful memories, since he thought it may be too morbid. Willie and I strove for the same intensity, but suddenly photographs of Mummy began flashing on screen, Harry said. To paraphrase, each one shines brighter than the last. From being flattened, we were soon swept away. Later in 2018, Sir Elton sang at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding celebration. In the following year, when the newlyweds were losing it, he invited them to stay with him in France. Time and time again, I'd see Elton looking at Archie's face and every time I knew exactly what was going through his mind. Mummy, Harry admitted. I knew because that occurred to me too, rather frequently. Every time I caught a glimpse of a new look on Archie's face, it would stop me in my tracks. How often while embracing Archie I felt her, or wanted to, was something I almost mentioned to Elton. I hoped my mom could embrace her grandson. Every embrace was tainted with memory, every tuck-in with loss. When it was revealed that the Grammy-winning singer intended to serialize his memoirs in the Daily Mail, Harry said that he and Sir Elton had somewhat of an argument on the last night of the visit. After claiming that the publication had made Sir Elton's life miserable, the Duke stated he was puzzled as to why the singer had selected it. When Harry said, I loved him, he was met with the reply that he wanted people to read the book. I've got eternal affection from him. Also, I didn't want to ruin the celebration. After the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Sir Elton's home in Nice last week, the singer publicly defended them, tweeting, I'm profoundly saddened by today's erroneous and vicious narrative in the press regarding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's private stay at my home in Nice last week. Diana, Princess of Wales, Prince Harry's mother was a close friend of mine. Having witnessed the public attention that led to Diana's untimely death, I feel a deep responsibility to shield Harry and his family from similar treatment. David and I wanted the young family to spend a peaceful and quiet holiday in the comfort of our houses after a busy year of continuing their hard work and dedication to charity. We've chartered a private plane for them to fly in so that they could travel in comfort while yet receiving the necessary security measures. In addition, he stated that he and his spouse David Furnish had made a suitable donation to Carbon Footprint in order to make their flight carbon neutral in order to show support for Prince Harry's devotion to the environment. That's all for the video, we'll be right back. Until then, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.